Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the weeks of, well, the first couple of weeks of April 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. Make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call and request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within um, a seven-day time frame. And also, the um, Venus sign readings are up on Patreon now, and I do those monthly. So if you haven't had a chance to join, be sure to check it out. There's also additional content there that you may enjoy. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the Three of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Hierophant. We have Mercury, Neptune, Four of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Will of Fortune. All right, so <clears throat> I feel that the overall energy here, there's um, a foundation of trust being established. I feel like you're getting reacquainted or reunited with someone, um, possibly someone from your past. Also, keep in mind that past people don't always mean exes, just someone that you might know or are familiar with. Um, I feel like even if it is someone new, this person feels very familiar. So you guys, you know, it's like soul recognizes soul. So you guys are coming into alignment with each other. Something seems like now the conditions are right because maybe something has changed in your favor when it comes to love. If you've been looking for love, I feel that, you know, the right contenders are being put into your life. Um, maybe you are being open to dating or just um, open to love in general. Um, if you are already in an established relationship, maybe you and your love interests are dating like you're new, you know, just trying to reignite your relationship in some way. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of dreamy things going on, fantasies. Now there can be some sort of self-deception, but I feel like um, something about your relationships or the people that you're attracting are like very dreamy, very Neptunian themed, um, very romantic. There's also going to be communication with you and another person, but I feel like you guys are communicating through dreams um, or indirect in some way. Um, if there is direct communication, then it's just kind of like romantic or poetic. So yeah, I just kind of feel like you guys are flirting with each other or getting reacquainted. Now, I feel like someone is also trying to get you to trust them or to open up. Um, I feel like once you start talking, maybe certain situations start to come up or memories and you might try to go back or put those walls back up. But then I feel like someone is trying to convince you to give give them a chance or to trust them or you are doing this. Um, I feel like eventually, you know, regardless, whoever has their guards up are going to let them down. Um, yeah, there, there's something that changes for the better. Maybe something was headed in the wrong direction. Maybe you got off course when it comes to your relationships or your love life, but something is putting you back on course. Now also, the Hierophant out, um, I feel like somebody's been looking for someone to settle down with, or someone's been looking for a serious relationship. 
Now, something does start off maybe as friends or not that serious or just having fun, but I feel like there is a potential for it to move into something more serious. Someone may kind of present themselves or maybe it just does just start off like, we're just starting as friends, no, no promises, we're just keeping an open mind and you know, I just feel like you're going into something optimistic, but it still may change into that. And you might also feel like, I don't want to be friend zoned or I don't want that. Or, you know, if someone tries to put you in a friend zone and it's making me think of um, Dirty Dancing, it's like nobody puts baby in a corner. So I don't know if you feel like, no, I deserve better than that. I don't want that. I don't want what you're offering. Um, and so I feel like if you start to react in a way like, no, I don't like where this is headed, then that is when someone is like, okay, like, here's the real deal. Here's how I really feel. Um, because I feel like someone also is trying to keep something surface, but it starts to get very deep. There's a deeper connection going on. Hmm. Now you also might want to look at where Neptune is at in your chart and Mercury because something about those planets may have something to do with um, the future of your love life this month. I'm getting like captivation or someone feeling captivated by you or you them. I feel like someone is also taking a leap of faith. They're going to put themselves out there, say something that they've been thinking about. Um, someone might be feeling in themselves or feeling confident. They're like, you know what? I feel like I got a shot. I feel like I got a chance at this. Let me put it out there and see what happens. Yeah, three of cups. This is a good week for you guys to get acquainted with people. If you're thinking about dating or if you're thinking about a reconciliation, I feel like this is a good week for that. Um, I don't know who's gonna initiate what. Depends on your mood. Maybe you're the one that feels assertive. Um, if you do, you know, take that chance or take that risk. Um, I see, yeah, I see the conversation starting off maybe just kind of, uh, like I said, surface. And then things start moving really quickly. You know, someone may just be trying to feel your energy out. So this is also telling me to, that you and a love interest do have a telepathic bond. You can channel each other. I feel like one person doesn't like that though. Somebody is like, no, I don't want you trying to talk to me mentally. I want you to like talk to me directly. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like somebody is like, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I'm aware. I can feel your energy, but I don't want to talk to you that way. I want to talk with you, you know, verbally. For some of you, you could be uh, feeling like you miss an air sign or maybe an air sign has been missing you. Also have Taurus out. You could be dealing with another Scorpio.
some of you are still emotionally connected to someone. But it feels like whoever this is coming towards you is the person that you still feel a connection with, but you guys have not been on speaking terms. Um, or there's still a fear of being shut out or ignored by this person. I don't know who hurt who. I feel like something's going to feel destined. Something feels like it was meant to be. I also feel like Taurus season may bring about positive changes or depending on where you are in your love life, things could be moving to the next phase or the next level by Taurus season. Um, so if you're just starting off getting to know someone, probably by Taurus season, you guys might be claiming each other, becoming official boyfriend and girlfriend. If you've already been in an established relationship, something may become official like you guys moving in together or getting engaged or getting pregnant, like whatever that next phase is in the relationship. I feel like someone still needs to work on their control issues. Uh, there's still some sort of power, power struggles. Um, someone also has the potential to become like a dictator, very bossy, my way or the highway, you listen to me, I know what I'm talking about, you don't type of energy. So if there happens to be some sort of communication clashes, somebody's got to be the bigger person and just agree to disagree. Don't keep bumping heads with them, you know, because it's... And that's if, you know, you really want to be with this person. If it's not worth it, then of course, let it go. But, you know, if you're really wanting to be with this person, I see that there is some sort of uh, communication clashes that need to uh, work on, need to be worked on. And I feel like the more evolved person needs to take the high road. Um, if it's worth it, if it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, something is destined and I do feel like maybe someone feels like home to you. It feels, just feels comfortable. It just feels like you belong together. Um, so I feel like you guys are, you bring that homey feeling out of each other. It's mutual energy. It's like you just recognize each other. And it doesn't seem uh, forced. The only thing that seems forced is when you try to avoid each other. Then that seems unnatural. Yeah, so hopefully these messages have helped. Uh, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sydney Love and Grace.